you survived all those commercials? Not easy. <laughs> Robbie and James are tied for first with 2,000 points. <laughs> Max is a mere 50 points behind them with 1,950 points. Let me get serious for a second. Ooh. Nowadays, it seems like everyone on social media has to brand their unique identities with a handful of overused labels they found on Reddit, whether you're a libertarian plant mommy or a fluent in sarcasm mommy. <laughs> everyone has to have a bio. Sadly, most people throughout history lived and died before branding themselves. That's why we'll be writing their Insta bios for them in a game called Biopit. <laughs> I'm going to show you a public figure, and you'll give me their Instagram bio. My favorite each round gets 300 big ones, and by big ones, I mean points. <laughs> Let's do the game now. <laughs> First, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> 3.4 4 million, seems low, but Max. Party vibes. <laughs> Short, simple, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie? 6'4", if you know what I mean. I think we do. James? Free Young Thug. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to James on that one. Next up, this handsome fella. <laughs> Robbie? Uh, looks like my mother's vagina. Can you put that in? <laughs> Can he put so that in there? Put in the, you want to put Robbie Hoffman's mother's vagina yeah. in the bio? Yeah, she would like that. Yeah, yeah. give it up. James. Uh, ladies, it's winter time. Get you a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Max? Lover of Leia. <laughs> I'm going to give that one to Robbie so they don't cut it. <laughs> Vagina, mom's vagina. Next, Amelia Earhart. Ooh. Uh, James. Love to get high, and my favorite movie is Crash. <laughs> too, someone said too soon. soon. <laughs> Moving on. Here's Miss Piggy. A sexy one. Robbie? I think she would have, first of all, she's very industrious. I think she would say, you know, subscribe to my mukbang YouTube channel. Yeah. And follow me on OnlyFans for all that ass. Yeah. I follow. James. Okay, it says <laughs> single, maple glazed, and thick cut. Previ <laughs> previous account disabled at 20 million. <laughs> Next is Cleopatra. I heard she had some serious riz. Hello, two Roman senators? <laughs> I know, girl, teach me your ways. James. It's not my fault your emperor's in my DMs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Max? <laughs> I, I honestly, I have the same answer. <laughs> so tough. So, it's so tough. I'll just go with this. I, was, I think it would be party vibes. Party vibes again? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Max just for Thanks. committing to party vibes. <laughs> that was biopic, and now to make things even more psychologically distressing, here's our next game. <laughs> the internet is mostly bad, but every now and then there's a wholesome ray of light shining through the darkness, like this TikTok from at Paku Pets. says they're close friends. <laughs> so nice. But then there's always some bitter rando that ruins it with a negative comment, like this one. Trying to calm him down by biting him? Right. That cat is trying to play. Oh, God. That's why we're going to play a game called Kill the Vibe. <laughs> I'm going to show you an adorable and heartwarming video, and for 300 points, you'll buzz in with as many cynical comments as you can in order to kill the vibe for everyone. Up first, from TikTok user at Janine Hemmer. Who's in the box? Oh. Panelists, kill that vibe! James. 
Wow, I can't believe we're glorifying human trafficking. <laughs> Robbie. Hey, Ma, I lost my job and I'm moving back home. <laughs> Next, we have this from Leanne Rooks. I'm going to do it now, are you? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Panelists, ruin this video. James? No shade, but the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did it way better. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie? I don't know about this video, Taylor. I gotta be honest with you. It's doing nothing for me. Shouldn't that turtle be in water? <laughs> True. Yeah, that's your comment. <laughs> that's good. Robbie, every comment Robbie leaves on videos, she directs them towards me. She's like, I don't know about this, Taylor. <laughs> Max, do you have one? I don't know. I got nothing bad to say. It was really funny when it slid down the iPad. It's pretty good. <laughs> I didn't know what I was watching until it slid down the iPad. And I'm like, this is not, I don't think it's, this is not a bummer. <laughs> I hope we have better videos coming up, Taylor. <laughs> the point of the game, you know what? I'm. <laughs> I know, the point, I know the point of the game, but no, it's, it was fine. It slid right across the iPad. Yeah, no, it's fine. You're well, supposed to kill the vibe, Matt. Cut it. Let's, How do you kill thank the you, vibe? Thank you, James. You're right now, you're being a vibe. It killed its I own it. vibe. I, I let you guys have killed the whole vibe of the entire game. Not even just, <laughs> not even just the video. You were like, I'll kill the vibe. I'll kill the vibe in here. <laughs> <laughs> then there's this sweet little soul hug from at Helga 3178. Hi, Helga here. Oh. I'm at the lake with my friend. <laughs> she's, she thinks she's cold. I don't know why. It's very warm out here. Ooh. Windy and cold, and she's crazy. Panelists, leave a negative comment on this wholesome video. Max. It's a lovely day on the dock. Yeah. I'm gonna give you no points on that because you're undermining me. <laughs> Gird your loins for our next cutie pie, TikTok user, the very cool grandpa. Yeah. Panelists, I challenge you to say something about this guy. Nothing, Robbie. that's my great uncle Eddie. He looks better in clothes. <laughs> Click link for all future Robbie Hoffman dates. <laughs> yeah. And finally, from Maddie Pierce. No shade, but Jesus did it way better. <laughs> Max. Mazel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go to commercial, and when we return, I'm hoping for a vast improvement in morale. <laughs>